master of its own proceedings will take full charge of the proceedings. The ceremony is expected to commence at 11 a.m. prompt. Guests, apart from heads of state, will be expected to be seated by 9.45. The inauguration committee has been working collaboratively with parliament towards ensuring a successful ceremony. Indeed, the arrangements being made by the committee are geared towards ensuring an elegant, but at the same time, a cost-effective ceremony. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, commendable progress has been achieved in terms of the fine details for the ceremony which require our attention. Twelve heads of state and government have so far confirmed to their participation for the swearing-in ceremony. More confirmations are expected as the date draws near. Other foreign dignitaries have also confirmed their participation. Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Mali, Chad, Angola, Equatorial Guinea, Sierra Leone, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Guinea, Togo, Niger, and um, the other countries that will be represented, such as Gambia and Nigeria, by the foreign ministers. We also have the foreign minister of India, the foreign minister of France, foreign minister of Rwanda, Foreign Minister of Gabon. We also have the Attorney General and Minister of Justice of Gambia. We have the UK Minister for Africa. We have the US Special Envoy responsible for the Sahel. Of course, we have the President of the ECOWAS Commission and also the Chairperson of the AU Commission. We have representatives of the Conservative Party from the United Kingdom, and we have representatives of the CDU and allied parties from Germany. The foreign dignitaries attending the inauguration ceremony will have the appropriate courtesies extended to them in line with standard protocol. Arrangements for possible courtesy calls and bilateral meetings have also been catered for. I should mention in that regard that the relevant information pertaining to the specific protocol and courtesies have been communicated to the respective diplomatic missions here in Accra. Additionally, a welcome desk will be set up at the airport terminal 3, which will be manned by designated protocol liaison security officials to facilitate the smooth participation of the various delegations for the ceremony.